once upon a time, a long time, years, years ago, there was a witch called Carrot Wen. She lived in a huge palace with marble walls built on a rock in the middle of the lake. In that palace with her lived a huge crow, an old man, and her son, who was a monster. But she didn't think so, and loved him dearly. He was horrible, and was always tormenting animals. There was a little boy, too, who was chained to a huge bubbling cauldron in the middle of the largest marble hall. The witch had come one night and stolen him out of his bed in his parents' house and carried him to the palace on the back of the black crow. His name was Gwion, and he was very, very scared. She gave him a ladle and made him stir the cauldron day and night, and if he stopped, she whipped him or wouldn't give him any more dry bread. In the cauldron was a spell of wisdom to make her monster son more wise. And it had to cook for a year and a day. But on the very last day of the year, Guion splashed three drops of the burning liquid on his finger. grind and put it in his mouth. <laughs> then he had tasted the spell and the cauldron exploded. into thousands of pieces and it was Gwion who was suddenly wise he was so wise he could see everything he could even see the witch carried when gathering herbs at the North Pole. But suddenly she turned sharply towards him with a terrible scream of rage. You have tasted the spell meant for my son. She cried. Then she came flying, flying over the seas and the mountains, the towns and the forests, down, down to chase him and catch him and punish him forever and ever. But he could now change into a bird, so he flew up towards the sun. But she changed into an eagle and flew after him faster, faster, catch him up. So he fell down through the sky into the river and became a fish hiding among the weeds. She became a fish too and swam, swam always after him. But then he got tired and changed into a grain of corn. 
and hid in a sack. But she changed into a chicken and snap, snap, got in the sack and ate him up. So now he was in her stomach and grew and grew into a baby so that she would give birth to him. And she did. But so that she could kill that baby, now I can kill you! She cried. But what a beautiful baby. She can't, she can't. What will she do now? So she put him in an old leather sack and threw him in the river, shrieking, Go away, go away, never look at me again. The sack floated quietly down the river many, many miles by trees and houses and big pools and then got caught up against a boat. It was a poor man's boat. He and his good wife were in despair because they had no food or money. He went to the river to fish for supper. He found the sack. What a treasure. What a beautiful baby. His name was Taliesin. As soon as he took this golden baby home, their fortunes changed, and they had work and food. The baby grows into a boy with beautiful clear face and strange green eyes, but joyful and singing all the time such songs all the people would listen and couldn't move. He won a contest at the court of the king against all the bards. His song was light like bird song, and the people were entranced. Then he kissed the good man and his wife and went off through the world singing marvels at the court of the king, through the countryside, through the towns in castles and cottages to everyone who would listen and his stories were like spells and all the people listening were spellbound <laughs>